Hi everyone, this is Abdul from Pythonist. I hope you are doing great. In this video, let's talk about the reference counting and static string types. One of the Python's major features is automatic memory management. CPython implements this with a straightforward reference counting with an automatic garbage collector that runs periodically to clean up unreachable reference cycles. Cython manages all reference counting for us, ensuring a Python object, whether statically typed or dynamically, is finalized when its reference count reaches zero. CPython's automatic memory management has various implications when mixing static and dynamic variables in Cython. Say, for instance, we have two Python bytes objects, b1 and b2, and we want to extract the underlying character pointer after adding them together, as you can see on the screen. The b1 plus b2 expression is a temporary Python bytes object, and the assignment attempts to extract that temporary object's character pointer using Cython's automatic conversion rules. Because the result of the addition is the temporary object, this example cannot work. The temporary result of the addition is deleted immediately after it is created. So the character buffer cannot refer to a valid Python object. Fortunately, Cython can catch the error and issue a compilation error. Once understood, the right way to achieve what we want is straightforward. Just use a temporary Python variable either dynamically typed like this one or statically typed like this one. These cases are not common. It is an issue here only because a C-level object is referring to data that is managed by a Python object. Because the Python object holds the underlying string, the C character buffer has no way to tell Python that it has another non-Python reference. We have to create a temporary bytes object so that Python does not delete the string data. And we must assure that the temporary object is maintained as long as the C character buffer pointer is required. The other C types I mentioned in the previous video while talking about the type correspondence between built-in Python types and C or C++ types are all value types, not the pointer. For those types, the Python data is copied during the assignment, enabling the C variable to evolve separately from the Python object used to initialize it. Just as Cython understands both dynamic Python variables and static C variables, it also understands the functions in both languages and allows us to use either kind and that's the thing we are going to cover in the next video. I think that's enough for this video. If you like the content of this video, thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any fantastic video in the future. Thanks for watching.